Today I'm going to be demonstrating something I really don't want to do, but I have to do it for you. I'm taking one for the team. I'm going to be demonstrating two awful things, the worst things you can do when getting an undercut haircut. The first one is having the undercut too low, the sectioning way too low. And what does that mean? Well, basically, if you have the section of hair that you are going to be getting rid of too low, as you can see demonstrated here, you may think it's great. What's going to happen is all of this hair is always going to want to keep falling down. It's not going to stay back. It's going to continuously because of the weight of the hair, because of gravity, everything. It's not done in the right section of the head, the roundness or the curve of the side of the head, the corner. And that is going to continuously have the hair just fall down. So I'm going to sacrifice this mannequin with this beautiful hair. I'm going to sacrifice it for the video for you. All right. This is the people's channel <laughs> and uh, here we go. So this is my demonstration of it being too low. Okay. I'm going to do this super, super quick just to show you all as a demonstration. And let's go about right here. Let's get rid of all this in through here. All right, now, prime example. It's too low. Now watch, watch what happens, okay? Now you may think, hey man, that's awesome. I got an awesome undercut. Watch what's gonna happen. Okay, we bring the clips down. You've done this yourself at home. And now look, I wanna bring the hair back. I wanna slick this back all the time, all right? Unless you mat it with product, look what's happening. Can you see that? Look, just pay, pay close attention to this area right here. Look it. It immediately wants to fall down, okay? Because of the weight of this, it's not high enough it's going to always want to continuously fall. All right. Now, some may say, you know what? I'll take that. It all depends on the head shape. This mannequin has a extremely high forehead, but let's just say, for example, if you did this and you only went that far down, okay, the same thing is going to happen. All this hair. If you want that haircut, then that's fine. Now let's do the second biggest mistake. And I hate to do this to this poor mannequin here with this nice hair, right? It was an awesome haircut that we had here. Now we are going to make this too high. Okay. So let's section this hair out of the way and let's demonstrate what happens <laughs> if it's too high up. So you've got your hair sectioned off like so you're home, you're part, you're like, yo man, I'm going to get an undercut. All right, here we go. You're feeling good. You're like, man, this is gonna be the best haircut I ever had. And look what's gonna happen. So now, and unfortunately, um, this mannequin is so high up that I have to stand on my toes to get this to see this. All right, here we go. You just shaved all this off, and you're like, man, I have an undercut now. Wait, oh my gosh, where's all my hair in my head? It's, it's all, look what happens. You now shaved this way too high and, and look what happened. It literally looks like half of your head is shaved. Now, if you're going for a mohawk, very extreme type of look, then that's fine. But you see the two differences of one being too low and being too high. This is what's going to happen. Okay. In order for you to grow all this hair back, <laughs> It's going to take all that time for, you know, how it took to grow it in the first place. You are unfortunately going to be in a bad position. It's not going to be helpful. So how do you get the right spot, the right angle? I always say you want to section the hair where the corner of the head is right, right where the round of the head is just in sync with 
the corners like this, okay? I'm, I'm using these clips. I do sell these clips on my website, shop.thesalonguy.com. And now, in my opinion, we have a perfectly balanced section that goes right across from here. It's in line with the natural hairline, okay, and through here. And now let's take the, all this hair off and see what happens. All right, so let's get a good look here of what's going on. And there we go. So now, as you can see, this is in perfect alignment with the, get all this out of here, with the uh, hairline, okay? or the corners, the corners, sorry, of the hairline, which is what you want. The mannequin head also, keep in mind, is stitched in a way where not everything is perfectly even. <laughs> and I'm a perfectionist, so we gotta make sure that every little piece is, is done. So there we go. Perfectly aligned now with the side of the head, and you can see by us taking this back and if we were to brush all this hair back this way, watch what happens. See how this next wants to go back this way? It's gonna, it's gonna slick back so much easier, okay, than it did before. And see how it wants to stay back? All because of the head shape. Now obviously this is gonna wanna droop down because I didn't continue it, I stopped. But if I were to get rid of all this hair you know, even if you were doing like a mullet or something like that, like it literally would be perfect. So there we go. That's it. If you are interested in purchasing any of my products, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.thesline.com. Let me know if you had this mistake happen to yourself before done by, by somebody else, if you did it yourself. I'd love to know because uh, I love seeing your feedback, but let me know if you found this video helpful. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.